Hi everyone, it's Scott from scottmowerguitar.com. Thanks for tuning into this video here. Hey guys, as I was mentioning in the past few videos on this series on rhythms, that based on a lot of emails I'm getting, uh, I thought I would devote some time and some videos to you know teaching rhythms, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes. Uh, the previous three videos prior to this one are just that, holes, halves, and quarters. If you need help with that, go check those out. Uh, we're doing uh, simply a G chord, and we're showing these rhythms on the G chord. Hey, let's talk about eighth notes. Here's where things kind of get interesting and maybe a little bit confusing for some students. I think most students have understood if you're playing a whole note, you just strike that chord or that note on beat one and hold it for the whole measure. If you're doing half notes, you strike on beats one and three, but you hold counts two and four, right? One, hold, three, hold. If you're doing quarters, you simply strike on every beat in the measure, one, two, three, four, and four, four time, of course. When you're getting into eighth notes, we need to talk about two terms, downbeat and upbeat. I don't mean down strum and up strum. Let's talk about a downbeat. So what is a downbeat? Many of you have heard of this. In 4-4 four, four time, if you're playing on the numbers, one, two, three, or four, you are playing on downbeats. If you plant your heel, you can't see my foot here, but if you plant your heel on the floor and tap the ball of the foot on the counts, one, two, three, four, your foot does tap down on the downbeats. That's probably an easy way to remember that. Conversely, whenever your foot rises up and you're counting ands, such as one and two and three and four and, when your foot rises up, those are called the up beats. So don't confuse that with down and up strumming because for the guitar player, you can absolutely strum everything down for like a stronger rock feel. I might play tunes like... See, I did all down strokes for a stronger rock feel. I could have done that down, up, down, up. I think it comes off kind of weak, actually. So for rock tunes, a uh, succession of down strokes is often the right answer. Um, so let's get back into this G chord. First, what we're going to do, we're going to strum one measure together. We're going to do, uh, do uh, down strums and up strums. No, actually, you know what we're going to do first? Let's, let's make it simple. Take a G chord. We're going to strum eighth notes. We're going to go one and two and three and four and. So again, there are four beats in the measure because there's just four counts. But uh, we've gone through a whole note which had four counts, two half notes which has, you know, two half notes total together would be four counts. Four quarters is four counts. Eight eighth notes is still four counts. And that's confusing from some students. So you're just subdividing the beat into smaller fragments. So there will be eight strums um, and we're going to do eight down strums. So we're going to do this. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so I'm going to count a measure of eighth notes and we're going to do eight down strums or eight eighth notes um, per measure, four measures. You guys ready? One and two and three and here we go. One, two. Do it again. Do it again. Two and three and four and last time. Again, guys, it's totally acceptable as a guitar player to play down strokes on the up beats or the ends. Okay, let's do the other approach. When I say the other, that's most often how guitar players play. They do all down strokes or down and up strokes. So we're going to do this now. Now we're going to align the pick with the beat. If a chord falls on a down beat, one, two, three, or four, use a down stroke, okay? If the chord falls on an upbeat, like an and, one, and two, and three, and four, and, we're using up stroke. Now, for your, um, I guess, benefit, we're just doing one chord, we're not changing chords. So we're gonna play the G chord on all the down beats and all the up beats. So here we go, it's gonna be down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Here goes, three, and four, and. Do it again. Third time. Here's one quick thought, guys. Like, I get this all the time. Like, if I'm playing a six string chord and I'm going from low to high, yes, I hit all six. If I'm doing an upstroke, I really don't strive to do this. If I want that as an effect, you know, that would be one thing. But Really, you can do like a flick of the wrist and just do this. It's the motion of the upstroke you're going for. So in that case, I think I hit strings one, two, and three. I really wasn't even concerned how many strings I hit. Let's watch this down, up. I think it sounds cleaner than doing. 
unless that's the effect you're going for. So guys, again, eighth notes, there's still four beats per measure, one, two, three, four, but you're subdividing those quarter notes into two equal parts called eighth notes, a downbeat and an upbeat. So instead of one, two, three, four, we had one and two and three and four and. Again, you can go all down strums or you can alternate down and up strums. Okay, guys, uh, to continue this video series, we'll next be talking about kind of a unique rhythm where we're going to combine two different rhythms in a measure plus use rests. So we'll see you in the next video.